this is the space time camera. We have the lens in the front here, the lens cap comes off. And we can adjust the focus by screwing the lens in and out and adjusting the distance of the lens to the sensor on the Pi camera. The lens can also be removed and you can replace it with other lenses. To get to the electronics, you just need to take these bolts out and the top of the park, top of the of this case comes off. Now on the bottom, we have a, a nut for screwing into a tripod. And on the top, we have a button for the shutter to take photos. We have this button, if you click it, it's a playback mode. You can see what photos you've taken. And we have a knob here that either scrolls through the, uh, the saved photos or it adjusts the column um, that you're collecting spatial information in the photos. And then on the back, we have an LCD screen. It's a touch screen where you can load up the program or make any other adjustments here. Uh, to power the Pi, um, or power the whole, the whole uh, camera, there's a jack right here for plugging into an AC adapter. So that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's the uh, space-time camera. On the left, you have a live feed of video being taken of some street. And on the right is the space-time image. Now, this red column is the column that's being collected through time. So each one of these columns in the space-time video comes from this single one. And you can see the video updating along here on the right as things pass through that column. Um, so the, the picture on the right is this is a summary of what's happened over time at that one column. Uh, to take photos with the space-time camera, you use the shutter button right here. You just click that, and then it saves the data to the disk. If you want to look at your stored images, you click the playback button, and they're all stored here. So these are from other things that I've tried out, uh, other space-time videos. It's pretty fun. You get here's one with uh, Emma. Where is, she, where is it? Oh yeah. So she's gotten. Stress, stretched out. She's moved slowly during the entire frame and stretched her face out. Uh, and if you want to delete a photo, if you don't like it, uh, this one didn't turn out so good, you click the, the shutter button and it deletes it. Um, and then to go back to the live, mo uh, live mode, you click the playback button. Now if you want to change where you're collecting, uh, where you're collecting from the image, you adjust the knob up here, and that moves this column. And if you move it all the way to the right, then it does this automatic sliding of the column through time. So it's, it's almost the exact picture, but if something is falling along that red line, then it will get stretched out through time in, this, in the image on the right. And that's it.